We're back at the Queensway Hilton now for the finish of the Catalina Ski Race. Here comes the 1984 winner now, 15-year-old Mason Thompson from Newport Beach, California. Skiing behind Betty Cook in her 30-foot formula. Here comes second place, Buck Baker of Phoenix, Arizona. Buck was the eventual men's open winner. Skiing behind Vic Edelbrock. Mason looks a little discouraged and bewildered here. Looks like this race took some of the wind out of his sail. He had a super team to win it all. He had his own personal best to perform. That's John Lewis helping him in the boat. Johnny was his observer. There's Betty Cook, World Offshore Champion. And there's the driver, Jimmy Myers, grabbing that checkered flag. 62 miles later, there's Mason Thompson, 15 years old. That's got a fall back into his memory bank. He'll never forget this one. There's Vic Edelbrock giving his skier Buck Baker a congratulatory hug. That's boat number 70 right there. That's Denny Bartlett. That's from Banff, Canada. Denny was also skiing in the men's open division. Took second place. Here's boat number 89, that's the Kama powered 30 footer that Betty Cook used to pull Mason. The twin motors inside of it. And they run a surface prop on both motors. Quite a thrill for Mason, I would imagine. 15 years old, one of the youngest people ever to win this race. They say back in 1959, a young man by the name of Ron Danlicker won this race at the age of 14. Well, Mason, congratulations. Thanks, you Jeff. won the Catalina Ski Race. You must be really, very thrilled. Oh, I'm very, very thrilled. Are you tired or very are you ready to go out too. and do it again? No, I definitely don't want to do a brick your lap. <laughs> That's for sure. Was it, a, was it a rough water race or was it kind of uh, in between, would you say? In between is definitely what it was. It was smooth going over and then coming back it got a little rougher and I got a little bit more tireder and it just kind of put me down a little because I was really tired. Did you get a good start? We had problems with the spectator boats. We kind of had to zigzag through them. Did you start on this end or the other Far end? end? Towards Far the end. island, yeah. And uh, we had problems during the start. And you never fell once? Luckily, no. <laughs> I got close, though. So a couple close. close calls? Fair, yeah. You're skiing with a 190-foot line or 200? 200-foot line, 200 yeah. We changed that line. yesterday. We went out and practiced with 170, and I was catching spray, so we put 30 more feet on. Well, unofficially, I think that makes you almost the youngest person, or the second youngest person to win this race. I believe that Ronnie Danlicker, back in 1959, I believe he was 14 when he won the race. Yeah. But um, to do that, to do this, to win this race at 15 years old is is a tremendous feat. Yeah, well, I definitely surprised myself. You know, there's no doubt about that. But I knew I had all the equipment and team to do it, so. We just had a good time out there. Well, congratulations. Thanks I know you're lot, real Jack. tired, but yeah. I bet you you're quite happy, too. Yeah, I'm sure in a little while I'll perk up again, yeah? Okay. <laughs> oh, well, you did it. No, I didn't. Was the race, was it, was the water rough, or? We done it was, good, huh? <laughs> it was a little bit rough. It's been rougher, though. Did you did you get a good start or um, were you kind of in the center of the pack at the start? I I got a good start, but I hit a roller and went in and then lost my ski, lost my. So you fell at the start. Right. So you, that was one fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I got. It was real quick. We got back up and took off again and just. That's tremendous because to fall at the start that means you had to go through all that rough water. It's did, discouraging at first, but then when you. I didn't know. I didn't know where we were. I didn't know how we were doing at all. When you uh, when you got at the turn buoy, did they indicate what position you were in? The, the guys in the boat knew. I didn't know. I didn't. I just was holding on, hoping that we were making up some time. 
You, you look like you're in good shape. You're not tired or anything. No, I'm, I'm happy. No, this was, this well, was really all. fun. Well, we're back. <laughs> Here we are. This is uh, about three hours after the fact. The race started at 8 o'clock. You've probably already seen and met our official finisher, uh, Mason Thompson. First overall, 15 years old. And what do we got now? We got Dan Steele, the man made of steel with two beautiful women, our trophy girls. Dan, I'm not sure how to ask him this, but are you okay? I'm doing just fine, thanks. Uh, that's a, you know, Dan uh, came in to try to promote this race, and officially, the only reason is right now. This was it. And he said, are we going to have trophy girls? And we said, yes, we are. So Dan said, I will promote it. I will do my best. He got Jet America, and we said, okay, there'll be two girls. If he could have gotten uh, maybe someone like Goodyear, we would have had four girls, but Jet America were with two. That's right. Is this the best Catalina race you've ever been to, Dan? This is definitely the best Catalina race I've ever seen. I think in 36 years, I think this race is finally coming of age, and I think there'll be a lot more exciting things coming on next year. I know I've worked pretty hard on it. I think I've put about 12 months into this. Uh, certainly the last eight months, I've been badgering every local company in town, trying to squeeze a couple of bucks out of them. And uh, certainly I, I want to thank all three of our sponsors, especially Performance Unlimited. They have certainly made this a first class act and we're really happy to have them. The Queensway Hilton, Tracy Pugh and Bruce Wood have gone out of their way. Every other day I've been on the phone with them trying to get things straightened out there. And I'd like to thank them. And certainly, uh, Jet America has made the purse the most uh, valuable purse in the 36-year uh, history of the event. And uh, I'd like to thank all those folks out of there, Larry Anderson, for uh, uh, giving us such uh, wonderful uh, prize money, tickets, uh, tickets to uh, any of Jet America's destinations for the overall winners. That's really great. That's fantastic, Dan. Who are these lovely young ladies with you, and where are they from? I, I'm not, I'm too nervous to say. Well, How about if I ask them? Let's see, this young lady. Sister. They are sisters. Though. My name's Jody Alvarez and I'm from San Pedro. Well, thank you, Jody. And you're here, just sponsored as the Miss Catalina race, is that right? And this must be your sister. Her older sister, Shari. You, you just take reference to that. I'm her older sister, Shari. Although she's taller than I she's am. She's taller, but younger. <laughs> okay. Well, we're, uh, we're really happy to be here with you, and I'd like to thank you all for being here. And we're going to have trophy presentation coming up in a few minutes, and we just hope you're there to enjoy it and give our uh, skiers the <laughs> reference they deserve. Thank you.